Now to a story you'll see only on two. We've obtained records showing the city has now cited a contractor for the Hell's Kitchen crane fire that happened back in July. CBS2 investigative reporter Tim McNicholas learned that they could be forced to pay a penalty. Tim is here now with more on that. Tim? We've seen a $25,000 penalty. City building inspectors say the contractor, Monadnock Construction, failed to safeguard the entire construction site. And today, two months later, work began to remove what is left of that massive crane. High above Manhattan, Monday morning. Um, what? I'm scared again. Yash Madura woke up, looked out his window, and saw a site that brought back bad memories. Workers using a derrick to remove the damaged crane that caught fire in July and collapsed onto another building across the street, injuring 12 people and cracking Madura's window. I'm not the same friend. I'm not the same worker. This has affected my life terribly. Now building inspectors tell CBS2 they served a violation notice late last month to the general contractor, Monadnock Construction, because of the crane fire. The violation notice does not go into many specifics, but it says the company failed to safeguard all persons and property affected by the construction operations. The buildings department tells CBS2 it is the general contractor's responsibility to safeguard against things such as fires. Medora says he's still living in another unit because of the collapse. I have been placed into a matchbox size unit. I've been affected physically, emotionally, mentally. The city says it's still investigating the cause of the fire, but the violation notice blames a hydraulic leak. As for the crane, work will continue Tuesday to remove what's left of it. I'm happy, like, it's, they're taking it down. I just want to be safe again. I want health to be safe again. The city says they're also still investigating the crane operator and several other people involved. Monadnock sent us a statement saying safety is a top priority and they're working with the city to safely dismantle the crane. And Christina Maurice, there is a hearing in November in regards to that violation. All right, Tim, thank you for that.